quite a few changes um, going on over here at the Crockett household. But that don't mean that you're relieved of cooking duties. I just want to put a uh, woman out there who watching might be like, oh, I ain't oh right, anymore. right, that's so true. Gotta, you know, that's a disclaimer. <laughs> you're not off the hook. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. We are so happy to have you here. I want to say thank you so much to our new subscribers for subscribing to our channel and you returning viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting us here at the Crockett Way. So right now I am in the bathroom with Avi. Avi is actually getting a bath and I just wanted to come on because I wanted to give you guys an update of what's been going on with us here. It has been crazy y'all. Like crazy the past couple couple of weeks have been non-stop like there's no time to even take a breath so Kendrick and I are going to sit down and get you guys up to date on what's been going on with us um what we've been doing some of the changes that have occurred here at the Crockett Way household because there have been some major major changes so we're going to go ahead and get you all caught up I hope you enjoy this video. God bless you guys, and I will see you in a bit. Say hey. <laughs> so, Avi started daycare. Um, Monday coming will be three weeks that she's been in daycare. So, it's been a little bit of a while. So, um, Kendrick and I, we struggled with uh, the idea of putting her in daycare. But many of you know, I recently graduated from nursing school and I passed my nursing exam and I am a licensed registered nurse. Praise the Lord for that. After doing all that, I decided to go ahead and start applying for, for work, for different jobs. And I was hired, I got a new job, so that's another life event that has happened in our lives. So with Kendrick working and with me getting hired, we got her into a daycare that we really, 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 really like. Yeah, so my feelings uh, for Aviona as she goes to daycare, uh, up front in the beginning, I would say that it was a little tough because I've been used to my baby being home all this time. Not just her, but her and her mother. Um, you know, now I have been a huge advocate of my wife going back to work. At the same time, I've become accustomed to her being home, her and my baby. So when I get off work, you know, I'm used to seeing their loving smiles, their beautiful smiles, and now it's just different, <laughs> you know. Um, but I knew that this was something that must take place because, you know, she needed it just as much as, you know, we needed it as a whole right um she needs that to be around other kids her age which i believe is helping her development um drastically i believe um, she's grown some semblance of independence oh, yeah. since she's gone to um daycare i would say and she's not just all up on the mummy and daddy all day every day so you know it's uh you know it's something you had to get used to but i believe overall it's been a blessing yeah i would definitely have to agree with you um, but it's been tough for us. I remember her first day that Monday, Kendrick was cool as a cucumber until it got closer to her having to actually go because <clears throat> he's the one who took her because the day Aviana started daycare was the day I started my job. <laughs> Good. I mean, move that little finger. So Kendrick was off that day and he took her to daycare. And I remember him coming into the bathroom and he was saying to me, he was like, I don't know. He was like, what did you say? Something to the effect of, I'm not sure how I feel about this. You know, I think, yes. I think I might feel like crying. Yes, he started He started getting cold feet um, as the time got closer. So we had to have her there before eight, 9 o'clock that morning. And I would say probably at around 8 o'clock, he was starting to feel a little bit, you know, apprehensive. So... She's done very, very well in daycare. So we're really happy about that because that has helped us out a lot because we both were very, very scared. We were, we were worried, you know, because she's never been with anyone. Also, I wanted to update you guys on Aviana's eating journey. Um, she has really, really come around. Her eating has definitely increased dramatically 
since the first day we took up a child care, and it's to the glory of God. Yeah. Um, nobody but him. But she's starting to eat food much more regularly. Um, almost anything you put in front of her, she's trying, and she's not just. She used to just put it in and taste it a little bit and just throw it away. But now she's tasting it and eating it and going back for seconds and third and fourth, so which is uh, a great sign for her. We've noticed that like we were really like very um, conservative about giving her new things to try. And it's like every single day she's trying something new, like every single day. So we're really, really excited about that because she is a very picky eater. And for those of you who aren't familiar with um, that particular topic about Avion not eating, um, you can check out our video. I'm actually going to link it right here for you guys to check out. And it will give you a more in-depth story about what's going on with Avi and why she has difficulty eating. So check that out. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was me starting um, a job as a nurse. Um, many of you know I've been an LPN for almost five years. And that's when I decided that I wanted to go further in my career and my um, studies and become an RN. So. I st I've started working as an RN for a company that I am very, very excited about. Um, I do home health, um, hospice home health, which is something that um, many people can't do, you know, considering the nature of the job. So, so far, I'm liking it quite a bit. So it's something that I'm really, you know, anxious to, to learn more about. So um, I'm working. I stayed home for over a year with Avi. And that has come to an end. So um, so we're really excited about all these changes that are occurring in our lives. Another thing that we wanted to talk to you guys about is about our boys who are not here. They're actually with their dad for the weekend. But we kind of wanted to touch up on them and their um, homeschooling. It's not really homeschooling. It's, virtual. it's, called, it's virtual schooling. So um, they're home, you know, doing their studies on the computer. And um, she's so busy. Y'all see her behind me. <laughs> I think that them being home and us being at work and Avi being at daycare is affecting them socially. Uh, we didn't feel comfortable putting our kids in school uh, because of the high prevalence of COVID cases here in our area. So um, things seem to have gotten a lot better. And so we're considering, strongly considering sending them back to school. My initial thought was they need to be in school. Uh, I wasn't as you know opposed as my wife was to them you know going to school even when the cases were higher than what they are now. Yeah. But um you know I I grow used to it like anything else. Um, but I just didn't really like it overall because like she said before you know the lack of developing certain skills, social skills, or, you know, um, the thing that I always fear is the, the spirit of laziness, you know, entering into them. So, and that's just not, you know, the real world. You, you're gonna have to at some point get up and go to work. I know a lot of people are working from home these days, but we all know that is not the norm, even though it may become the norm for some people, but as we talk to them about, in order to be you know, successful in that type of environment, you have to be very self-motivated and self-disciplined. Son is more mo um, self-disciplined. He's thriving. He, he thrives in school and also at home doing virtual school, but it's Judah mm -hmm. who needs to be in front of the teacher in the classroom. Right, so, but either way, I just think it's been more beneficial for them to be in school. Um, we pray to, you know, we pray over them and anoint them and you know I believe the Lord is going to protect them as he has been doing for us all this time Amen. I agree so you can kind of imagine why you haven't seen any vlogs and a whole lot of stuff because we have been busy like like we both come home and we are tired it was for a while just Kendrick coming home and he was tired because he worked but now it's like we both come home and we're like oh god and this week I've been working extra hours, so I come home and Kendrick has Avi all bathed and ready for bed, and he's been having to cook more. <laughs> I've been the primary um, chef in the house, so. Yeah, you know, I've had to, <laughs> with the life changes, I've had to step up in areas that I'm not, you know, used to stepping up in. Mm -hmm. 
mainly cooking. Or even with my baby. Mm -hmm. You know, her, her mom is used to, I mean, normally do everything, I'll be honest with you. From washing her and, you know, bathing her, all that good stuff. And now daddy has to do a little bit more. So that's a new area for me. Gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> At the end of the day, we gotta take care of the family. Whatever that role is, our roles have to be flexible, yeah. shall I say. Yeah. And right now I'm being flexed. <laughs> so, yeah, I was just telling my counterpart, I have to learn a few meals to cook on a consistent basis. I need to learn about five or six meals to just and master them and, you know, Maybe might eat the same thing every week, but, you know. <laughs> You're eating. <laughs> hey, there you go. Ain't nobody gonna go home with it. Exactly. But that don't mean that you're relieved of cooking duties. I just wanna put that out. Well, that's okay, because you know I love to cook and I love to try new things. You know, I just wanna make sure. You know, people start to think, you know, what you gotta do no more cooking. You know, there's some women out there who watch you, maybe like, oh, I Oh, right, you know. right, that's so true. Gotta, you know, that's a disclaimer. <laughs> you're not off the hook. Here, little girl. Something tells me that's not a disclaimer. Something tells me that's a message. That's a disclaimer. <laughs> okay. All right. So we will keep you guys updated as things change. Um, Aviana has not yet started. Um, walking. Yes, Avi's not walking yet. Um, she. This is something that she's been um, not interested in at all. Like, we'll walk with her, like hold onto her arms and walk with her. But the moment we let go of one, Ariana drops down and she doesn't even like us walking her. And she's just not interested in it right now. And um, so that's something that we're working on with her now. Um, her daycare teacher is also working on her with her eating and also her walking. <coughs> and um, that cough you guys hear, she didn't have that before starting daycare. So it's just, you know, certain things are happening that we're trying to, you know, get used to and get accustomed to. And I also wanted to mention that, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> excuse me. Mommy. I love you. Ah. <laughs> Can you get down, please? Will you get down, please? Ah. Uh. So what I wanted to say was, Avi um, has not started speech therapy yet. Hopefully she'll be starting here really, really soon. Um, go to daddy, go to daddy. So keep, continue to keep her in your prayers, guys. We will see you guys later in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. We truly, truly appreciate it. Um, God bless you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing to our channel. Um, we upload at least twice a week, at least twice a week. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. So be sure to hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button to make sure that you will always be notified whenever we upload a new video. Take care, guys. God bless. And we will see you later. Bye.